Graphical Evaluation and Review Technique Graphical Evaluation and Review Technique, commonly known as GERT, is a network analysis technique used in project management that allows probabilistic treatment both network logic and estimation of activity duration. The technique was first described in 1966 by Dr. Alan B. Pritzker of Purdue University and W. W. Happ. Compared to other techniques, GERT is only rarely used in complex systems. Nevertheless, the GERT approach addresses the majority of the limitations associated with PERT slash CPM technique. GERT allows loops between tasks. The fundamental drawback associated with the GERT technique is the complex program Monte Carlo simulation required to model the GERT system. Development in GERT includes QGERTs allowing the user to consider queuing within the system. General GERT rules GERT uses activity on arrow notation only. That means that each activity is described on arrow. The nodes are used to connect activities, but also to determine type and conditions of relations between them. Each task has two parameters, duration and probability of appearance. There are three logical operators in GERT which concern activities in coming to the node. XOR alternative only one path possible, or alternative one or more paths can be performed. And all paths have to be performed the most common is end, which means that every incoming activity has to happen before the outcoming ones start. There are also two types of relations that concern activities outcoming from the node. Deterministic every outcoming activity has probability equal to 1, which means that every one will be performed. Probabilistic each outcoming activity has some probability of appearance. GERT vs. Other Network Diagrams It's much less popular than PERT Program Evaluation and Review Technique or CPM Critical Path Method. However, it has can offer much more than those methods. PERT or CPM are very popular in most projects, but they have their limitations. The main R, R, main R, there are no alternative paths, all activities have to be performed. There are no loops, it is not possible to repeat activity, next similar activity has to be added. There are no decisions in the diagram, no and or, so are options which help to choose proper path. There are no scaling, it is not possible to replace some detailed group of activities with the one summary task. GERT doesn't have those limitations but it comes at a cost of more sophisticated diagram equals equals references equals equals equals